Here we have our new O-ring tenons for clarinet, bass clarinet, E-flat clarinet, and our E-flat bell tone hole extension. These O-rings can easily pop on and off so you can fit a custom fit for a different size barrel socket. Some barrels come with a little bit looser, larger size, and others very tight. And we have four different O-ring sizes to accommodate. All you need is an inexpensive small screwdriver. This is the least expensive one I could find. It comes in a kit from Radio Shack. You can get it at a wholesale tool. It comes with about five or six screwdrivers for a few dollars. And this um, screwdriver is the same sized screwdriver that I would use to adjust the, the little screws on the upper joint of my E-flat or B-flat and A clarinet. So I've created this little vertical cross slot right here, which gives me the opportunity to put my screwdriver in place and pry the O-ring out. Simply pops on and off in seconds. Careful not to scratch. The last one's a little bit of a tricky one to get out, but I got it. And I'm holding the screwdriver away from the tenon here. I don't want to scratch or dent the tenon. And there you have it. The O-ring is now, all three are out, and you can see the slots are exposed, and I can easily put a different set different size set in place and they just simply go in place like that one two three haven't had any o-rings fail but if one was to break you've got two more maintaining that airtight seal all you need is one for a perfect airtight seal I've built clarinet mouthpieces with three o-rings so that you get a good stable wobble free fit and bass clarinet and e-flat clarinet mouthpieces have four rings. Obviously the bass clarinet rings are much larger. Off and back on. And then the E-flat and E-flat extension are skinnier. But it's as simple as that. No more do you have to deal with a 10 or a $20 cork job on your mouthpiece. One thing that's a pet peeve of mine, I've seen sometimes when people uh, put a cork on the tenon, they'll sand the cork to make it fit nicely and they'll bevel this outer edge of the tenon and that's not a good thing because then you'll get a wobble. And of course with the O-rings, you have no worries there.